She was a little feisty girl who had a serious disease. Every sort of. system in the body is affected. We came to realize that this is one of the worst cases in the world. You could see the pain she would be in all the time, but she had this ambition and need to want to help others. So she started a coin drive at the age of six. I don't know if there's been anything ever quite like it. Somebody asked her, one of the reporters, how much does she want to raise? Like one million dollars. You're not gonna make a million dollars? Like, that's not happening. The constant answer was, you'll never do it. She knew exactly what she wanted to do and how to achieve it. it barely took any time at all for donations to start pouring in. And I've never seen this many people come into this station. People from all walks of life. The, the lobby of the, of the television station was, was literally full of pennies. The fire department asked them to move it because they were afraid of losing the floor. We had so much copper in our building, there was a potential that we could cause an arcing of our electrical system. Three, two, when you think about it, a million dollars in pennies that's a hundred million pennies. She, to date, has raised over $12 million. I don't want to hide anymore. I don't want to be in the closet. I don't want to feel trapped. Vancouver Island's Penny Girl has recently come out as transgender. I'm just going by a different sex and a different name, and I'm still the same person. His doctors had told them that it wasn't probably the best idea to do so. There was definitely a lot of conversations of, well, maybe you shouldn't. It's a huge risk. You never know whether people are going to be accepting. We still say she. She was born a girl, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to really adjust that way. Yeah, it's like, I'd rather be happy and become who I want to be, because no matter what, my disease is going to kill me. If I had surgery, it would be the biggest surgery I've ever had in my life, because they would have to remove my liver. You have a choice right now of living the rest of your life, or you could do this and you could possibly lose the rest of your life. It's a very scary situation.